Hey guys, I have the entire Star Wars collection to swatch for you today. This was influenced by my husband who loves Star Wars and told me to just get the whole collection because it's Star Wars. <laughs> I honestly wasn't going to get the whole thing, I was just going to get the palette, but we'll see because there's some stuff I've never seen before from ColourPop, like these eyeliners. I mean, they might have done them before in like another collection, but I have never tried any of those, so we're gonna see what everything is here. I don't even, what are these? I think these are super shocks or something. I should have opened everything first, but I also wanted to keep them in the packages for you. And then of course the palette I will save for last. Um, let's do the eyeliners first. So there's two of them, graphics art liners, and they're in these really cool boxes with lightsabers on them. There is a lightsaber, and kyber crystal. So we'll check these out first because I'm curious. I've never had this type of eyeliner from ColourPop before. Ooh, it's got really cool packaging. It's got like holographic stars all over it. I didn't look at any like spoilers per se before I ordered this other than the pictures that were on the website and I didn't really look at them too hard because I wanted to form my own opinions once I got it. But um, this is the Kyber Crystal one. Looks like it's glittery. So it's like a really dark... It looks dark purple but it also looks like it has a black base. Oh, I'm going very... Let me make the line thicker so you can see it better. It's got a really dark purpley black base with blue sparkles in there. It's almost like a duochrome of blue and purple. There we go, that's better. It's probably going to stain the crap out of my hand and then I won't be able to show you swatches very well. That's really pretty though. But the, the applicator and the packaging here kind of is reminiscent of the like the super cheap wet and wild eyeliners so I'm not sure how much I love the packaging but I do love the design on the packaging so that is the kyber crystal one I just hope these don't dry up super fast because some of these eyeliners do uh, and then lightsaber we will open this one up same packaging again don't think I need to show it to you again but let's see what color this one is. This looks like a coppery color. So let's do another thick swatch so you can see it good. So yeah, it's got like a clear black base, just like that other one that makes it darken up. But it's got like this coppery red. Should I have like shaken this? Maybe it's liquidy like that because it's not shaking good. Yep, I think that was the issue. It was kind of see-through because it needed to be mixed. That is much better. Let me show you real good. So these are both like duochromy. You've got this reddish copper one and then the purple bluish one. They're both really pretty and I'm excited to use these and see how their staying power is. You can see that first one is still pretty wet but I did put a thick coat of it on there. So I'm pretty excited for those. They're very pretty. Now let's see if I can get it off. That's the going to be the issue here. At least it's not just like a stark black that, that would probably stain me easily. Oh, look at that. It came right off. So that's a little worrisome because I don't know how well that's going to stay on your lids. But anyway, one little swipe and it came right off. All right, let's try. Oh, these are Jelly Much shadows. It says it right on the front. I'm a doofus. But these have C3PO and R2D2 on them. I do know some of my Star Wars stuff, because like I said, my husband is obsessed with Star Wars. <laughs> so by default, I've had to watch everything with him. And I do like The Mandalorian, so this one is Protocol. And again, with the holographic packaging. This is a Jelly Much shadow, but it looks like it's smaller packaging than there. Their jelly muches usually are. I could be wrong. I'm gonna grab one out. 
So this one's like a white gold. Very pretty. But they look a little different. Uh, I think these are plastic and they used to be glass. I'm gonna try and grab one of the ones I already have. Yeah, I mean, like the Nightmare Before Christmas ones, these were glass packaging. And definitely a different size, or maybe it's just because it's glass, it's heavy duty. It is the same amount of product, right? Star Wars ones say 6.5 grams. It's on the box though, so. Oh, see, the Star Wars ones say 6.5 grams, and the Nightmare Before Christmas ones that I have say 4.75 grams, so they're saying you're getting more in this one. I don't know. It's, it, this is like not as heavy duty packaging, obviously, because it's not glass. But anyway, this is plastic packaging. That was the first thing I noticed that they were different than the ones I already had. But this looks like a really pretty color. Quite honestly, you could use this as a highlighter too, because they're Jelly Much eyeshadows. The light ones that I have anyway work nice on your cheekbones as well, but this is really pretty. It's a very light white gold. So that's Protocol. And well, I made kind of a mess with that one. Oh, I didn't even see that. It's kind of glittery around the cap too. It's got silver glitter. So that's that one. And then Astromech is the other one. Like I said, I can't remember what colors any of these things were. I remember seeing like a deep red lipstick because I just looked at everything quickly. Let's see. This one, it's almost like a holographic blue. So let's see what Astromech looks like. Oh, that one's sticky, it's stuck in there. Yeah, it's like a silvery blue with blue and pink sparkles in there. Let's swatch it out and see what it... I'm just taking the excess that's on here because I don't want to waste this. The only bummer with these is that they tend to dry out fast, even with this little plastic stopper thing in there. They always dry out before I can use them all. I'm like, I'm never going to use them all up anyway because I have so many freaking eyeshadows at this point. But I do wish they had a longer shelf life. So those are both really pretty. Those are the Jelly Much eyeshadows. See, now, there's three lip, three lipsticks and two lip glosses. So let's do the lip glosses that have the Stormtroopers on them first. We have, this one is Elite. It's just got such cool packaging. Like, I kind of want to keep this, but I kind of want to don't hoard pack don't want to hoard packaging because I tend to do that with the super cute ColourPop cardboard and then I'm going through and cleaning and like why did I keep this and I end up throwing it all away. All right, oh this one is pretty. I didn't realize these were going to be sparkly. So this is Elite, the Lux lip gloss, and this is a clear lavender base, like a purpley lavender, and it's got pinky purple and blue sparkles in it. Again, holographic Star Wars packaging and the glittery black top. So let's see what these look like. It has that same uh, like orange creamsicle scent that their other looks glosses do. This is pretty though. I'm pretty excited that they're sparkly. I didn't realize that they were. I didn't get good looks at anything when I ordered it so I will say that like the ones from, I have them right here, the ones from the Winnie the Pooh collection, they all pretty much look the same on my lips. They don't give much color at all. So it's almost like with their plain Lux glosses, I really like the formula and everything, but if you have one, you have them all because they very much look alike. Um, and then we have Imperial, which is the other Lux gloss in the collection. And this one has almost like an orangey coral base, which I'm sure will show up clear. And then it's got green shimmer in there. 
So let's swatch this one. I don't know how well this one will show up. Yeah, this is one of those colors that's just going to show the green shimmer when you put it on your lips, depending on how pigmented your lips are. It's so shiny though, I don't know if the shimmer itself is going to show up on camera. But that's what the lip balms look like. Now my hand is going to be super sticky. Alright, I'm going to swatch the three lipsticks, which are the last things before the eyeshadow palette. And then I'll have to go wash my hands because they're probably going to be stained. But this one has... the lipsticks have Darth Vader on them, so this one is called Dark Lord. Super cute packaging again. A glittery black tube that says Colourpop and Star Wars in a holographic font there. So Dark Lord is a nude. It's got this super cool, like, matrixy pattern on it with stars. I don't know how well my camera's gonna pick this up, but it's got like little teeny tiny... See the texture of it? I don't know how you would describe that. It's like matrix. <laughs> but then the stars and the little, po the little dots, too. Looks really cool. I don't know why this one is called Dark Lord. You would think the red would be... Dark Lord for Darth Vader because of his lightsaber. I don't know, but I really like nudes. This one kind of reminds me of the nude that came in the um, Nightmare Before Christmas collection, but they're Cream Luxe lipsticks. The formula is so good. Like, I rarely wear lipstick lipstick anymore, but this is my number one formula for lipstick when I do. Um, and then Surrender is the next one. Same Darth Vader packaging. Oh, the tip of it is crushed, of course. Couldn't be all perfect this time, huh? <laughs> they just look so cool with the stars and stuff on the side. So, this is the red one. Very pretty red. And the last one is Supreme Ruler. Okay, this one is the dark, like, Merlot color. It's a really, really dark wine color. Oh, maybe you can see the... No, probably not. I don't know if my camera can pick up the detail on there or not. It's not doing it as good on this dark one, so forget it. It showed up better on the nude one. Well, this one's really pretty, too. This is one that I like. This is a color that I like to wear for fall. So those are the three lipsticks. The nude will definitely get the most use from me. I'm just a, I'm a nude lipstick person most of the time. So, that is everything except the palette. I gotta w get this lipstick off my hands and then I will come back and do the palette. We have the super cool artwork on the cover. The holographic Star Wars there. And, of course, the Star Wars palette. So I guess I kind of have to keep this, this box because the artwork is not on the palette. It's just the Star Wars thing. I was kind of hoping that looked the same, but it's still cool. It's got that holographicness to it and all the colors on the back. These are like raised up really cool. Um, I'm sure some of these, yes, some of these do have the little asterisk. Oh, the artwork's on the inside. Duh. Didn't realize that, but let's get this glare out of here. There's a couple of those tie-dye super shocks in here that we saw in... They were introduced in those crystal palettes from a little while ago. And this one, which is Outer Rim, has the little asterisk next to it. So does Republic, Galactic Empire, which is the red. Reds always have that. <laughs> um, but those are it. Those are the ones that have the little asterisk. So I'm super excited to swatch these. 
let's just get into it. The first one is Rebel Princess. That feels like a super shock. So this is a very pale, pearly white with pink and blue sparkles in it. I don't know how good this one is going to show up because it's very, very light. We have Starfighter, which is a matte nude color. Oh, that's a little darker than I thought it was going to be once it's swatched out. Um, we have Hyperdrive. This one's cool. This is like a pale taupe that has a turquoisey shift to it. Again, kind of light though. I'm excited to use this palette on my eyes already. Um, Loyalty. This is a matte brown. And then the last one, which I didn't really leave room for, is this outer rim one. It's super cool and I don't want to swirl into it, but it's got, before I make a mess of it, it's got swirls of like red, black, silver, and white. And now I've just made a mess. Oh, it looks, it gave it like an ombre effect the way that I swirled it. It looks like it's just going to be like a pinky purple once everything's swirled together and it's the silver sparkles stick out. So that's pretty cool. Middle row, we have Jedi Knight. This metallic super bold blue that's like glowing. So pretty. That's a friggin awesome blue. <laughs> and then we have Kessel Run. This is a super crazy silver. This looks like the silver that I just swatched in the Let's Roll palette, actually. Very crazy metallic aluminum foil silver. And then we have New Hope. This is a nice, like, neutral gold color. Metallic. So you have silver and gold right next to each other. They're both super pigmented. Then we have Galact Galactic Empire. This is the nice bright red. This is the type of red I was hoping was going to be in the Darth Vader palette, but now we have it in this Star Wars palette. So that's nice bright red. I need another wipe. I'm almost out of them here. Um, and the last one in this row is Alliance. And this is this matte, deep, taupey color. Like a grayish taupe. That's an interesting row of colors, but I like all the colors individually. <laughs> I just don't know that I could get a look from these five. One row left here. We have Space Pirate. So this is the other tie-dye swirl one. This one is like silver and blue swirled together. Like a light silver and a dark silver. And then it's got pinky and silver sparkles in here. Comes out as like a bluish gunmetal with a bunch of silver sparkle and pink sparkle. Very pretty. And the, the super shocks are super smooth. Um, we have this blue called Rebellion, which I'm surprised doesn't have an asterisk because this one looks like it's going to stain. It's a really bold, bold blue. More of a turquoise once it's swatched. That's what that one looks like. I'm a little worried it's going to stain here. Maybe not. Oh no, it definitely stains. Definitely stains. Alright, so then we have First Mate. This is a color we see, some, see from them so often. It's a brown with a bunch of gold micro sparkle in it. Nothing special, they do it a bunch. 
but I guess they thought it belonged in this palette too. <laughs> the neighbors are starting to make noise, so I'm glad I'm almost done here. Um, then we have Republic. This is a matte, kind of like a cranberry color. This one might stain as well. Oh, that's really pretty though. I just grabbed way too much of it. <sighs> that one didn't stain too, too bad. My finger looks dirty now from all this swatching. Then the last one is Star, De Star Destroyer. This just looks like it's a matte black. Oh, it looks like a nice matte black too. I think you need a good black in a Star Wars palette, so it is pretty decent. So that bottom row, that gives me total fall October vibes here. <laughs> I'm just longing for it because it's really hot today and I hate hot weather. I love fall and I want it to be fall. <laughs> but I think that last row is my favorite. I just really love those five colors together. So that is the entire Star Wars collection. I hope you guys enjoyed all these swatches. I am super excited to start using this stuff though because this eyeshadow palette is really, really pretty. And I really liked the Jelly Munch shadows too. I'm excited to bust those out and use those on my eyes. And like I said, I'm probably going to use that, um, what am I trying to say? The white goldish one on my face as a highlighter because that was would make a really pretty highlighter but that is everything we have the sorry I'm trying to get that last batch of swatches off my hand here we have of course the palette I think that's my favorite thing I'm just a sucker for eyeshadows we have the palette and then we have the two jelly mutt shadows which I also like very much um, the eyeliners which I'm going to experiment with um, like I said, shaking them up definitely helped the pigmentation, so if you got these, make sure you give them a good shake before you use them. Uh, then we had the three lipsticks, which were all very pretty, but I like the nude one the best. And the two glosses. So I, put, I stuck this one on my lips, actually, before I closed it, but... They're both really pretty. I'm excited to use these as well. Excited that they have some sparkle and shimmer in them because the Winnie the Pooh ones were the last ones that I got and they don't have any sparkle or anything so they just all three of them look the same on my lips. But I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will talk to you in my next video.